After a rest, there's no silver lining for Tiger Woods. The news was jarring enough. In the mid-morning of Memorial Day, details started to emerge about Tiger Woods and the latest dramatic bombshell and what has become a precipitous fall from grace. Woods was charged with driving under the influence near his South Florida home, a story that quickly became front-page headlines. It offers visual proof of the news, of another public embarrassment. There is no positive way to spin this story. No silver lining, no beneficial after-effects that might spring from it. Confusion as to why a multimillionaire wouldn't pay a few bucks to a car service in order to avoid this situation. Shock that a man who already has so dearly paid the price for past personal scandal would allow further transgressions to affect him once again. But the main takeaway here is sadness. There often was debate during his prime over whether Woods intimidated his opponents. He wasn't just better than them, the argument stated, he also was tougher. It's difficult to beat a guy who holds not just a physical and technical advantage over the field, but a mental one, as well. And it's a sad one, the very portrait of a man who has made mistakes. Even those who might have cheered against Woods when he was in his prime or wished for other golfers to knock him from the lofty perch in which he sat for so much of his career, might understand this emotion. It isn't so much empathy as it is sorrow. This was back in the late months of 2009. The player so accustomed to winning on a regular basis immediately lost his game upon returning to competition. Tiger says alcohol not involved in DUI arrest. Tiger Woods, who is rehabbing from back surgery, was arrested early Monday on a DUI charge in Florida. Woods released a statement on Monday night, saying he took responsibility for his actions and that alcohol wasn't involved. What happened was an unexpected reaction to prescribed medications. Wood said in the statement. I didn't realize the mix of medications had affected me so strongly. If the stories alone were the punchline back then, the mugshot photo will serve as the entire joke this time. But it's not funny. It's just sad. He once seemed like he had everything. A million watt smile, a swing that would make Bobby Jones jealous and all the money he could ever need. Now he has another humiliation that will haunt him and a mugshot that will forever tell that story.